Hi, my name's Andy Clark from Ringtone.net Limited. SDR, or Software Defined Radio, is a radio communication system where components that are traditionally implemented using expensive hardware, for example, filters, amplifiers, modulators and demodulators, are instead implemented by means of software on a personal computer or an embedded system. Thanks, Wikipedia. Now, SDR isn't new, but the recently announced Ofcom Small Scale DAB trial is going to use SDR. We've been working with the Open Digital Radio MMB toolset over the past few months and have built an end-to-end -end DAB transmission chain from the audio output to it being heard on a DAB receiver. We are using a Hacker F1 from Great Scott Gadgets under suppressed radiation conditions to ensure we comply with UK regulations. This is a Hack RF1, and it's a software-defined radio peripheral capable of transmission or reception of radio signals from 10 MHz to 6 GHz, which is a huge bandwidth catering for almost any radio-based application. Let's show you our working example. This is uh, being powered by three computers, one laptop and two Raspberry Pi 2s, and we are using the MMB toolset from the Open Digital Radio community. What we have is a Hack RF1 connected to a laptop, and that's powering the modulator, which is in the bottom screen. That's connected directly via a 20 dB attenuator and some cable to a very cheap RTL dongle, which we're using to, well, I think they're about seven pound, to power the DAB receiver there. We've got another cheap RTL dongle connected to an antenna, which we're using to collect information uh, for our SDR frequency analyzer, spectrum analyzer there. Incidentally, that's showing channel 10C, which is Chosen Hill, the local macro dab multiplex for the area. And you can see a very strong signal there. So what we'll do is we'll fire up our multiplex. The MUX is up. You can see that it's saying sub program one to three input empty. That's because we've not done any encoding yet. And what we have down the bottom, we'll fire up our modulator. And what should happen is, there we go, signal OK. The SNR is uh, acceptable. And there we are, powering it very low with this uh, 20 dB attenuator. And also we've got um, very low output from this Hack RF. What we'll do is now is we'll just use the SDR spectrum analyzer just to go to channel 11A. And we can see there, that's the channel we're using, 216928. That's the frequency. And we'll just kill that to prove that there's no change, nothing. Bit of noise there, actually. Um, and we're not too far away from the next. Uh, ah, there you go. With that one there is, what are we looking at there? Move that back. Let's go back to, not interested in the others, actually. Let's go back to ours. And let's power up the modulator again. And you can see no change there. Okay, so we're proving that we're not emitting any RF um, to that antenna, which is only two feet away, so that's a good thing. What we'll do is we'll now go to the encoder and we'll fire up the encoder, and that should fire up 7FM. Hey, it is, a bit of rock there. Uh, and what that's doing is encoding that into MP2, so that should be quite good quality. You can see the bit rate, 192 kilobits per second. It's MP2 and it's stereo, and it's on channel 11A. There's the frequency as well there. And there's the name of the multiplex, which we've called very aptly ringtone.net limited. What we'll do now is we'll fire up the DLS, which we've got a script for. And we should see any second. Ah, 7FM, hello world. It's a bit boring, isn't it? What we can do is change that to something else. Um, I don't think anything else to put really. Hi fellow dabbers. As you can see spelling and typing is not my, uh, <laughs> and using Vi is not my forte. I love Vi. Okay, now any second we should see it pop up at the top. Talk amongst yourselves. 
Oh, I wonder if it doesn't like the smiley. Ah, no, it does. Oh, and there's the bad spelling as well, fellow dabbers. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll fire up Radio Caroline. That's on. Still all on this Raspberry Pi 2 here, so we can now go to Raspberry. Uh, raspberry. We can now go to Radio Caroline. There you go. No rock. What we can do now is fire up Cotswold Hospital Radio. And that's up a bit. There you go. Oh, lovely. Now, what you can do is there's some information on this little dab player. If you haven't got one of these dab players, you've got to get one. They're fantastic. Software is free. And the little RTL dongles are about seven or eight quid. You can see information about the Ensemble. You can see how it's configured. Uh, some other information there about the MSC and the audio as well. Uh, information on that. Let's go back to 7FM, shall we? Yeah, a bit more rock. Okay, so that's it. That's our little uh, DAB multiplex end to end chain that we have uh, configured in our test bed here. As you can see, we're not banging anything out at all. It's uh, RF wise. Let's go back to 10C. There you go. What we can do is we could just connect. Um, what we could do is disconnect this, and it's not going to damage the RF, heck RF, because it's got a, an attenuator on it. So if I plug that into there now, that's what our signal looks like. We hope you enjoyed this short video and can see the benefits of software defined radio and how it can be a very cost effective way of implementing a radio service, albeit in a rather clinical environment in this instance. If you have any comments or questions, please drop us an email to smallscaledab at ringtone.net. Thanks for watching.